Yo, what is going on guys? Johnny GB here, bringing you guys a brand new series to the channel. So, I asked the personal Discord server for those of you guys in there. If you guys aren't in there, links down in the description. Go ahead, join it. What was one of the reasons that you guys do not play trading card games? And one of those was, oh, it costs too much, lack of interest, hard to get cards. Well, I'm going to go through a mini-series here on the channel of a how to play the Pokemon trading card game free to play edition so if you guys go to the Pokemon website I'm gonna leave the link down below for you guys so that you guys can go in and download the Pokemon trading card game available for iPad Android tablets and um, desktop or laptop whatever you guys use free to play you can download it free just like dual links um, and I'm going to show you guys the free way to build solid meta decks so that you guys could get into the game without having to buy real packs of cards or buy code cards. Let's fix this. All right. So what we're going to do here, we're going to start new to TCGO. I have my regular login. I remember my old login and such. I have it written down. We are going to start a brand new account. And... I will still have my main account for uh, TCGO in which I do deck profiles for you guys. I do, uh, let's see, deck profiles, tournaments and such, uh, but terms of use, come on, everybody knows what we do on the terms of use. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, click agree. Hello, I'm Professor Holly. I'm going to teach you how to play the Pokemon trading card game. So I did a tutorial way back when, about a year and a half ago how to play the Pokemon trading card game. So what we're gonna do here, right click on Eevee for a Pokemon card. Again, you have a bunch of stuff on the card, a little bit less than Yu-Gi-Oh, but there's still some stuff that you have to understand. So the stage is pretty self-explanatory here. You have Eevee, it's a basic Pokemon. You have HP, kind of like a regular video game. And then you have the attacks. So what we're going to do here is we're going to play Eevee. So what we have is it's called the active Pokemon. It's like a Pokemon you have out in the video game series. So what happens when you have a Pokemon out? Well, you need a way to attack. So what we have here is an energy card. Now, meta decks run anywhere from 5 to 12 energy cards. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach an energy to Eevee. So we have one energy card. Here on the card you see a colorless energy or a colorless symbol. This represents the normal types. So with the colorless symbol, I have one here. So that means I can use any type of energy for this Pokemon. Now I have two colorless energy here. I need two energy for me to use Tail Wap. So I have the one colorless energy. I can attack and I do 10 damage. So I need 30 more damage to knock out the Rattata. You guys see there Rattata is doing 20 damage to me. Now I draw another energy. We can use Tail Wap now. So now we're doing 20 more damage to the Rattata and now we're only 10 HP from knocking it out. And as you can see my opponent plays a Meowth onto the bench with an energy attached to it. Here we have what we call item cards. Item, item trainer cards can be used any time and as many times as you want during a game. Whereas a supporter card, a completely different version of a trainer card, can only be used once per turn. So here, potion heals 20 damage or 30 damage from our Eevee, and we can now tail whap for the knockout. So what happens when we knock out a Pokemon? Well, how do you win the game? You either knock out your opponent's only Pokemon when they have none on the bench, or you collect all six prize cards. So once you knock out a Pokemon, you collect one prize card. Should you knock out a GX or an EX Pokemon, you're able to collect two prize cards. So, this is kind of just a quick little rundown of how to play the game, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you once we get through the tutorial, how to do the free-to-play. So without having to buy any TCGO packs, 
Um, I, I have some code cards here, but I'm not going to use those because, again, this is a free to play. I'm showing you guys how to play without needing code cards. So, what we're going to do here, we have all this extra energy we're drawing, and we are just going to be attaching it to the Pikachu we had played onto the bench. So, here Meowth is going to go for the payday and knock me out. And once Eevee gets knocked out, now I have Pikachu. We have a third energy here. And now we can attack with Electro Ball for the game. What I mean for the game is my opponent no longer has any active Pokemon they can play from their bench. So that is a win. All right. So here we're going to go into a little bit more of advanced rules, pretty much regarding... Um, different trainer cards we have a 23 card deck a couple prizes and if you go first you're not allowed to attack on your first turn which is where going second sometimes may be the best option if you want to damage something and pick up an easy kill uh, come on don't give me connection errors uh, but now we got two energy unfortunately we have a handful of energy which is really unfortunate come on internet don't fail me come on don't fail me now internet that actually sucks because now I got to do that all over again Jesus come on TCGO don't be failing me. Don't be failing me, TCGO. All right, we're loading. We're loading. Oh, I got nothing uploading. The internet's acting up. That is not a good sign. I don't like that. Come on. <clears throat> All right. Okay, perfect. It picks up right where we left off. So we're going to attach that second energy to Eevee. We're going to go for the tail whap. So once we get into the actual game where I'm going to be doing free to play, uh, I will be breaking you guys down some of the better decks that you guys can use early on that are easy so that you guys can play in the standard format. Now there's three, four different types of formats. Four? Yeah, four different types of formats. So what we have here is an evolution Pokemon. So Wigglytuff had evolved, or Jigglypuff evolved to a Wigglytuff. Now when Wigglytuff evolves, it loses any status conditions it has. So if you paralyzed, poison, burned your opponent's Pokemon and they evolve, they lose that status condition. So here we can evolve into a Raichu. And you guys see here, we're going to go for the Thundershock, 2 energy, 30 damage. And if we had gotten a heads, the Wigglytuff would have been paralyzed. Now what you guys just saw was what, we, what they call Retreat. So... A Pokemon has a retreat cost down on the bottom of their card. This signifies uh, how much energy you have to remove from the Pokemon to retreat it from battle. So Wigglytuff had two energy, so it removed two energy to withdraw and go out into Sandshrew. Uh, we are just going to Electro Ball. It will pick up the Sandshrew. Now, why did Sandshrew's 10 damage attack do 20? Well, Raichu are weak to fighting types. So... Fighting types do twice as much damage to electric types. Your weakness and resistance still exist. Uh, but at this point, we are just going to pick up the game as Raichu's going to knock out the Wigglytuff. Pretty, pretty basic on how to play. Alright, so we are going to upgrade our account. Alright. Alright. Now you guys will have to go to the Pokemon Company website, create an account so that you guys can register your account. Um, I'm just gonna do that real quick. Put my birthday in. 
All right. Um, Johnny GB's. Uh, we'll do Johnny GB F two P. Okay. Just get everything set up. And make sure you write it down so that you do not forget it. And uh, if you already have something like a PGL account where you do where you have your game registered, you pretty much just enable uh, your You just enable the TCG on there. That's pretty much all you're gonna do is if you have a PGL account, you, you're gonna just use your same Pokemon account to do that. Um, ah, okay. Had to use a different email. Ah, come on. Emails do not match. All right, there we go. So again, this is just a free way to play the game because money is one way that turns people away from the Pokemon trading card game, or just Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game in general. Uh, but, there we are. Terms of use, I accept. Continue. And let us sign in. Alright. Now, I do have to get a verification email. Again, this is just a tedious process, guys, so be patient with it when you're setting it up. And our email is now verified. <coughs> the account is active. And we are good to go now. So let us log in. Johnny GB F2P. Log in. All right. So upgrade is now complete. We have done the demo. So, first day here, for when you first log in, you get this mystery theme deck. So three days, you're gonna get some points and such. Settings. Huh. All right, let us log out. And log back in. Once you log back in, you should be able to get the different screens of what to do in the game. Now one thing about the trading card game is you do have to keep up to date with the different meta and uh, the rotations. Pokemon does not have a ban list like Yu-Gi-Oh! They have what they call a rotation. So, actual trading card game sets rotate out and those cards no longer usable. So that's something that you do have to keep memorized. So what we what you see here 
are pokey coins so you get 25 50 all the way up into where you get 350 uh, but we're just gonna play all the tutorial games here real quick hopefully they're not full games oh perfect we have a supporter so that's a good way to break down this part of the game give you guys an idea of um, what supporters do so you guys see here we're playing against a water deck not all water types are weak to electric that is something to take note of not all water types are weak to electric some are weak to grass some are weak to electric you have to see which ones are which to make sure that you are following making sure you're hitting for weakness so he's playing a couple supporter cards that are interesting or item cards that are interesting Professor's letter lets you search for two energy. Uh, but what, pre what we're pretty much going to do is just get Electabuzz out, and uh, I'm pretty sure we can just win with Electabuzz. We got another Pokemon Center lady. So we got two supporters in the hand, which is good to break down. Alright. We're, we're not playing Duel Links. So what we have there is our Electabuzz is damaged. Potion only heals. Oh, Potion does heal 30 damage. Okay, never mind. We're good. I thought a Potion only healed 20. Uh, but uh, once we take a little bit more damage, I will go through the Pokemon Center lady. <coughs> oh, God. Got this cough. It's not like a real cough. It's just like a weak cough. Uh... Uh, we'll just knock out the Squirtle. I didn't even need a heads there. Uh, but we collected all the prize cards, and that is the game. So the tutorials are very self-explanatory. They're easy to do. So you're going to see what these Pokey coins here are used for uh, once we do finish the tutorial. Again, the tutorial is non-skippable. You're going to have to do it. So let's play Electabuzz and Pikachu. And this time we have four prizes, so the game is going to be a little bit longer. As you guys can see, they're playing a Psychic deck. So normally Grimer is a Poison type in the game, uh, but this time it is a Psychic type. So here we have a trainer card, Misty's Determination. Discard a card from your hand. If you do, look at the top eight cards, put one of them into your hand. So with a supporter, we can only play one of them per turn, so we need to discard one card. We're going to discard an Energy. So here... We look at the top eight cards and we add one to our hand. So we can add Raichu or we can add a Spiro. If we add a Spiro, we can now put it onto the bench, which I think is the better play. And then we can put in energy onto Electabuzz. And since we're going second, we can now attack on our first turn. Had we gone first, we can now attack our first turn. All right, so here we got a second energy, and now we can actually evolve our Spearow by just playing our Spearow on top of it. Now we can probably get a KO on the Muck, or the Grimer. Unless, nope, it does have 70 HP. Okay, shame. So here we've taken 30 damage. We did not get a potion. We did draw a Kangaskhan, so able to play that onto our bench. And let us start building up this Pikachu. Got to keep note of Electabuzz's HP. I have 80 HP, so I can take another 30 damage. I cannot take 50 damage. We knock out the Grimer, and we got a prize card, which is Tierno. Tierno is one of the many draw supporter cards in the game. Now, once we get into the Sun and Moon format, which I'll be explaining here in a bit, uh, the draw potential for this is a lot different. And what you see here, he played a Weezing onto the bench. Weezing actually has an ability. Pokemon, Some Pokemon have abilities in the game. So, Weezing's Aftermath ability, when it's knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack, discard the top three cards of your opponent's deck. That's one of the few milling abilities in the game. So here, we, we draw three cards off the tier. So as you guys can see there, I cannot play Pokemon Center Lady to heal my Thunder, or my Electabuzz. But I can play the Ultra Ball item card to search for a Pokemon in the top seven cards of my deck and add it to my hand. 
So here now we are able to evolve Pikachu, or Pikachu into Raichu. Now, why didn't we evolve Pikachu? Oh, but baby Pokemon haven't be, been reprinted since the Generation 4 sets of Heart Gold, Soul, Silver, and the Diamond and Pearl sets. So that was the last time baby Pokemon were printed. Uh, we can now just attack, and we're getting fortunate here on the heads. I think I've gotten heads on every single one of the Thunder Punch or whatever that he uses. Alright, so you see, our Electabuzz has taken 50 damage. I can use a potion, or we can use a Pokemon Center Lady this turn to heal 60 damage, or 50 damage. It's supposed to be 60. And now we have a healthy Electabuzz, and I'm getting extremely lucky on these heads and tails. Unless it's fixed and it's trying to let me win. But again, the tutorial is just self-explanatory. Uh, so here's one of the older draw support cards, Roller Skates. Uh, flip a coin, if you heads, you draw three cards. Pretty simple. And we should be knocking out this Skrelp here. Even even with the tails, uh, we still knock out the Skrelp. We claim our second prize card, and it is an Eevee. Do we have a Jolteon in the deck? Inter that'd be interesting. So he's going to go for the Smoke Bog. So what Smoke Bog does is it does 20 to each of my... Pokemon. So now you see I have all these Pokemon damaged. I can play a Voltorb now. And you see I have Evo Soda on the bench. I don't think I have anything in my deck that evolves. Uh, but I will play an Eevee and I will play a Potion to heal my Electabuzz. So Evo Soda next turn, I can evolve any Pokemon uh, by grabbing one of the cards from my deck. But we are going to ambush. And we are going to do 40 damage. Now I have to be careful with the wheezing here because if I draw any more cards, I'm now going to lose three additional cards because of wheezing's ability. So wheezing has 100 HP. I cannot knock it out. But one, I'm going to search my deck. I do not have any of any evolution cards. Kind of a shame. I'm actually going to retreat my. Electabuzz for Raichu. Now the reason I'm retreating is because Raichu's attack Electro Ball does 80 damage and that guarantees a kill on the Weezing. Now one, I will lose three cards, but the bright side is <coughs> all his Pokemon get knocked out because nothing here can stand up to Raichu. And you... This is where the strategy part of the game comes in. Instead of just staying in and attacking with one Pokemon until it gets knocked out, you can retreat to get rid of status, and then finally switch into a Pokemon that can pick up a kill, as we get a hundred Poke Coins there. All right, now here's the final part of the tutorial. Probably a full game. We're taking on a Grass Dark deck. Um, you know we will lead off with Pikachu. So when you lead off with multiple Pokemon, you play that onto the bench. So we have Bicycle. You see, we don't have, we have six cards in hand, so we can't use Bicycle's ability to draw until we have six car or four cards. Uh, but, you know what, we opened up with a Pikachu. Not a bad start. So I do have to make sure I try and draw a Raichu here soon. At one point, you see, I might as well just keep Pikachu out, and I can start building up my Electro. Or my, uh, Elect- yeah. I can start building up my Electro. So I have an energy on my Electrode, but maybe I want to win the game with Raichu. I have this Switch, so Switch allows you to switch through Pokemon without having to use a Retreat cost. And now I can actually play the Bicycle card to draw two cards. So here we have Giovanni's Scheme. So, draw until you have 5 cards, or I can do 20 more damage to my opponent's active Pokemon. Well, I only have 3 cards in hand, I would like to have 5 cards, so I get plus 3 here. And now I can play an Evo Soda, based off of that drawing, and now I can evolve my Raichu. And then I can play a Roller Skate, so now, bam, already have drawn a bunch more cards. 
we're in a very good spot as now I have a Raichu, I have an Electrode on the field, I have a bunch of energy in hand I can spread out to my Pokemon. So I'm not too worried about how this game's gonna go. So here he has Sharp Scythe, uh, which deals 20, I'm not too worried about it. Now here we have a held item. This is something we haven't done yet in the game. Held items starter decks here on the bottom and these are a good way to get coins so that you can build decks now 
See up here we have 250 coins. Don't spend these coins yet. Why? Because we want to start building a meta deck. Now how do we build a meta deck? Well, let's start off with a theme deck. So there's plenty of theme decks available here. So you see they go all the way back to Heart Gold, Soul Silver, to Diamond Platinum. All the black and white theme decks are in here as well. But some of these are just not meta viable. Now, when we look at something like the Plasma decks, if you're wanting to run Expanded, you know what? Hey, you get some actual good cards here. Team Plasma Ball is a very good searching card. So that's something good about the Plasma decks is you get stuff like Plasma Ball, Hypnotoxic Laser, a very, very good card. Coal Rest, another very good card. So, the, I mean, the Plasma decks, if you want to play the expanded format, by all means, later on, go get them. I feel like they're very good cards, uh, but I do recommend waiting to get these till a little bit later on. The deck that we want, the two decks that I recommend to start off with in the free to play version come from Ultra Prism. The first being the Mock Strike deck from Garchomp. So it's going to cost you 500 Poke Coins, but well worth it. You can get two of these Garchomp decks to make a very solid standard deck. Now, why am I saying very solid standard deck? Well, the deck revolves around Garchomp and Lucario. The reason you need two of these decks is you only get one Lucario in each deck. And Lucario's ability, Precognitive Aura, allows you to use, uh, search any card in your deck if you have a Garchomp in play. Now, why is that important? Well, Garchomp's attack, Royal Blades, does 100 damage, plus another 100 damage if you have played a Cynthia. So you can search Cynthia. Well, what does Cynthia do? Cynthia, shuffle your hand into your deck, draw six cards. Draw support, hand shuffling, very good card. So this is where you want to use your coins. Now, the other option is the Empoleon deck. Imperial Command. Empoleon's a very good card from Ultra Prism. Total Command is going to be the attack you use. 20 damage for each bent Pokemon on the field, yours and your opponent's. So you can be doing up to 200 damage for two energy with Empoleon. Well, how do you get energy attached? Well, a couple ways to get energy onto Empoleon. One, Aqua Patch, very good water card. Search your deck for a water energy, attach it to one of your benched water types. You also get Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball, I feel like, is a mandatory card for the deck. Uh, you need about four Ultra Ball to make a very successful deck. And then you get stuff like a Skateboard and Pokemon Fan Club. So. That will do it for part one here of the Pokemon trading card game free to play. I'm going to break this down into a series here, have a couple videos a week of this so that you guys can get an idea of how to play the Pokemon trading card game without spending money on booster packs for the code cards or just spending on money on code cards in general. If you guys are going to, if you guys are going to enjoy this, go ahead, like the video, comment your guys' support for this series. You guys really think it's helpful for you guys in playing free to play let me know down in the comment section subscribe to the channel if you guys want to talk more pokemon tcg go ahead and join the personal discord server the johnny gb country club that link is down below in the description but with all that being said guys i am johnny gb and i'm out